Hi guys, so welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to show you how to reverse words from a sentence. Okay, so if you see the screen, we are going to have an input something like "Welcome to Cloud Tech," and, and the output should be a reverse of the words from this sentence. So it should be "Cloud Tech to Welcome." We are going to reverse the sentence by words. Okay, so let's get started with the uh, coding. Can you write uh, the program to reverse these words from the sentence? Hello. Yes, I can uh, write the program. So let me get started. First, I'm going to create a class and I'm going to name it as uh, reverse words uh, of sentence. So this is going to be my, my class where I'm going to write my uh, logic. So let's try to write the logic. Before that, I'm going to write... Uh, the driver uh, method which is public static void main okay and within this uh, there is string uh, array arguments so this is this is going to be my uh, driver method uh, this will be the starting point so let's try to uh, get the sentence from your notepad so it's welcome to cloud tech i'm copying this sentence as it is and i'm going to make this as a uh, string str equal to and I'm going to paste the sentence. Okay, so this is my input. And now uh, what I want is uh, the output, which is cloud tech to welcome. So I'm going to just for my reference. Uh, this is the output I want. So let's get into the logic of the actual program. I'm going to write a static method, which I'm going to call from my main. So public uh, uh, static. And this is going to return a reverse sentence. So the return type will be string and I'm going to write a reverse words. So this is going to be the name of method and it is going to accept the one parameter or which is the uh, input string. So string uh, I and beauty or string str maybe. Then uh, just to get into the logic, the first thing I'm going to uh, get is mm, I have words in sentence, which is welcome to cloud tech. There are three words of which are separated by spaces. So I'm going to uh, separate out all the words. So I want welcome as one word, two as one word, and cloud tech as one word. So to do this, I'm going to make use of uh, a method known as split. So let's try to uh, get this into string array. And I'm going to name uh, the string array as words. And I'm going to get all the words from str uh, using a method known as uh, split. And I'm going to split by uh, space. So to split by space, I'm going to add a space in split. So this will uh, give me all the words uh, welcome to and cloud tech in, in the string array. Okay. After this, uh, I want a result. So a result should be something of this sort, which is cloud tech to welcome. To store the result, I'm going to uh, declare a variable known as uh, result. And I'm going to um, initialize it with empty string. So let's try uh, to uh, write the for loop, which will iterate uh, through all the words uh, and uh, produce the result. So to write <coughs> the for loop, I'm going to uh, write the for loop and I'm going to start with the last word because we want to reverse the sentence. So in teacher I, this is going to start from words dot length uh, minus one. So we are going to target uh, cloud tech first and then we will uh, target two and then we will target welcome. So we are going to come in reverse order uh, because we want the sentence in the reverse order. So uh, my I is whenever it is greater than or equal to zero, I want to iterate through it. And then <laughs> I minus minus, I want to decrement the I uh, after processing the element. So let's uh, try to, uh, let's try to uh, write the logic. So I'm going to do if, I equal to equal to zero. Uh, so we, we are going to have one logic, else we are going to have another logic. And the reason behind this is, um, if it is the last word, then we don't want to append the space. And if it is any word before the last word, then we, we want to append the space. So that is the reason we are writing uh, two cases. So let's try to uh, write a case where we are targeting uh, the words, which is not the last word. So we are going to have result equal to result uh, plus temp of i so our words of i are array okay and 
also we are going to append the space because this is not the uh, last word so this is going to be uh, my string in the result otherwise if it is the last word which is this welcome in the output so in that case i am not going to append the uh, empty space okay so this is going to be my uh, logic and after the logic is done i am going to return the result Okay, <laughs> so let's try to call this method and see uh, what is the output. Uh, so I'll do sysout. Sysout is to print uh, the string and I'm going to call reverse words and I'm going to pass uh, the actual input, which is str. <coughs> let's try to run this. Yeah, so if you see uh, the actual is welcome to cloud tech and the reverse word is uh, cloud tech to welcome. So, in short, we achieved uh, the input and the output. Mm, yes. Uh, so, I have one question for audience. So, you can see Cloud Tech to welcome. Uh, it contains three words. So, I would like to know how many times that for loop got executed. And you have options three, four, and five. Okay. So, uh, you want to ask audience that in this case, a welcome to Cloud Tech, how many times did this for loop got executed? Correct. Yeah, mm, and the yes, options correct. are three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. Perfect. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. That will motivate us to create more videos like this. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye.